Hello guys and welcome back. I told you it would be another month before I made a video. So today is the first day using the brand new 2021 Diamond C F Max 216 40K rated 35 foot trailer. I'll take a quick little walk around, but this isn't gonna be a full walk around. This is more of the first use and I'll address the, uh, the brake issues and the stuff I've had uh, in the last video, some of the issues I had, most of them are taken care of. Let's take a walk around. All right, so hauling this today is my 2021 F450 Platinum. And we're gonna be hauling my 080 once we get there. So 080 with the mulcher, we're about 20,000 pounds or so. The trailer is a 40K rated. Our payload is 31,420 pounds. So the trailer weighs 8,580 pounds. It's actually lighter than my sure track by like 300 pounds, five feet longer hydraulic jacks hydraulic dove 12 foot hydraulic dove all those goodies and it's still lighter let's take a look at the size of this toolbox even with the hydraulic lines going through this toolbox is absolutely massive and i'm excited about that because the toolbox on the back of my truck is not very big it's my fuel tank on bottom and then the uh the toolbox is on top and this truck's gonna be hooked up to this trailer basically all the time. I got the three inch coupler, three inch ball, 38,000 pound rated ball. My other trailer is a two and five sixteenths and my 550 is a fixed ball. So it can't even haul this trailer. So the beauty of having this big toolbox without having the chains, cause I got a chain rack on the bed is I can haul a lot of tools inside of this that I'm gonna need on a regular basis that I can't fit in that. So yes, I did opt for the chain rack and I absolutely love it. That is such a sweet setup. Everything is up here off the deck. You got your full toolbox. I did go for the spare tire, but obviously if you guys watched the last video, it didn't show up, but I do have one out ready to go. The amber light on the other side has been replaced. I got this safety inspected yesterday because when trailers come out of Saskatchewan and out west, they don't have an inspection on them. So I had to get it inspected. Brand new trailer, had to get inspected, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, black wheels, black wood on the ramp. I didn't do black wood the rest of the way through. It was just too expensive, to be honest. Uh, you can see that the, the, the main deck is actually forged. It's, uh, it's, it's arced so that when you do have heavy load on it, it actually flattens out versus my sure track. You got a heavy load on it, it actually sags. Um, again, I'm gonna go over all the suspension, a full walk around of this trailer in the next video, I believe, but today is gonna be the first time using it. I just had to change all my chains around from my sure track to this trailer because uh, that's one oversight that I had. I didn't get new chains and, and binders and stuff yet, so I had to switch those over. But anyway, um, it's not really geared up yet. I don't have much in here. I don't have much set up, but it's plated, it's registered, it's inspected, it's insured. We are good to go. When we get in the truck, I will talk about what the brake issue was, how we corrected it for now. All right guys, so let's talk about some of these issues that came with the trailer and what ones are resolved and what ones aren't. So I did get the safe inspection done, the amber light is on, and I did order a second one, and it's ready for pickup, just in case, because I think that one definitely was in. It just fell out. Like the actual uh, flamin sails decal is right on top where that light is, so I can't see them putting that decal on and the light not being there or not noticing it. Just can't see it. The PDI in Yorkton was not very good, um, so, the, the light wasn't there or, or fell out. The spare tire, they completely missed that. Um, so the brakes, let's talk about the brakes. So yeah, you know what? There was no brake fluid in the actuator at all. So the, so, so the brake lines were obviously never bled. So I said, okay, all right, I'll bleed the lines and everything will be good. So I bled the lines or have, I had two of my guys uh, bleed the lines and uh, hooked up to the trailer still nothing show and trailer connected squeeze the the brake controller the gains going up but i still have nothing uh took it into 
the shop yesterday to get the inspection done and I said listen like I've got no brakes um, don't know what's going on I talked to a few people they gave me a few ideas what it could be it didn't end up being that at all uh, as soon as you on as soon as you pull the cable out for the safety the safety brakes or whatever the pump turns on and it locks up just the way it should but it wasn't doing anything through the controller and anyway so I went to the shop we, we, we tried a few things and uh, buddy got his meter hooked it up to my truck hooked up to the seven way on my truck in the bed tested for 12 volt nothing hooked it up on the bumper Texas tested for 12 volt nothing so then we uh, went in and we got a jumper so we got a little little cord a little wire and he jumped from the positive on the battery inside the toolbox on the trailer where the pump and stuff is to the 12 volt wire coming out of the actuator that comes up to your seven way for your 12 volt the black wire the 12 volt and then I tried it worked perfect worked exactly the way it was supposed to because it needs a constant it needs a constant 12 volt and it wasn't getting it from the truck so these stupid Ford trucks ever since 2017 they you have to activate the 12 volt and the way that they tell you to activate the 12 volt is you turn on your truck you hook up to a trailer you hold on the brake until it says trailer connected the second that I get in my truck and hook up to a trailer it says trailer connected the second I do it so it technically should be activated it's not I've had fuses blow on other trucks and there's like two or three fuses there that that contribute to this 12 volt check the fuses all the fuses are fine it's still not working like it's such a stupid idea and if you go on to some forums tons and tons and tons of people having problem with the four trucks with the 12 volt not working it's so stupid why not just 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 have it there constant what is the problem with that I, I don't understand you guys can maybe explain to me uh, power stroke tech bro Hook, help me out here help everybody out what is the damn fix for this thing one once and for all because honestly it's a pain I've had an issue with every single one of my super duties with this you know the Fords and the Rams come with a setting that you can select electric over hydraulic they're set up for this brake system and the 12 volt won't activate like the GMC's and the Chevs they don't even have that so there's some aftermarket stuff that you need to do to get the brake controller to synchronize with the actuator the actuator needs to see resistance and these trucks are hooked up and ready to go so I did get the brakes working so I just got them to hook a wire from the positive cable to the uh, to the 12 volt and right now it's working the way it is if I squeeze if I squeeze my brake controller it does what it's supposed to the pump kicks on the pump the pump uh, the actuator comes on and it works so the whole brake issue definitely was, um, you know, an issue from factory and from Yorkton. But as far as not having brakes at all, it wasn't it wasn't wiring by Diamond C. It's not a bad actuator, stuff like that. It was my truck, so that's the deal with that. Um, anyway, Diamond C has stepped up. They contacted me uh, on my on my video and by Instagram and said, "Listen, we're gonna be in contact with Flamin." Do whatever you got to do uh, let us know if we can help Terrell has been awesome he's the dealer uh, the contact from Saskatoon he's been awesome uh, Yorkton I don't know what those guys were doing man even my my wireless remote is uh, it looks like I got stepped on or drove over because it's it's filthy and it's cracked and they put it in the package and they sent it out so the PDI in Yorkton was absolutely terrible uh, Saskatoon's been great Diamond C's been great so we're gonna hook up we got uh, we got the 080 we're going to get that right now I'm driving empty I just dropped my young fella off uh, trailer drives absolutely beautiful I can't wait to use the hydraulic dove uh, I can't wait to see how this thing hauls to be honest and how the brakes feel once I get a load on it so let's go well there's the old faithful so this job here we came in this isn't any of us this was after the fact apparently there's a little bit of a dispute or something going on here we were subbed out we mulched that area 
over there next to the house put in a garage pad for her and a driveway and it was looking great and now i don't know what's going on but a big excavator came through here and scraped this all up made this mess over here dug a hole here tracked right over top of the pad and i mean it's a big machine you can you can see how see how big the tracks are sounds like he's right next door but anyway so i'm gonna get the 080 loaded up and the mulcher on the front strap down here in a second but what i wanted to show you guys is what i end up doing to get 12 volt <clears throat> so we went off of the positive battery terminal on our inside our box here and ran it straight over and tapped into the tapped into the 12 volt coming to the uh, actuator so now it has 12 volt constant which we should be getting from your trailer so that was my way around having to deal with what i've been dealing with ah man this is all clay here what a freaking mess it's a rainy day we got the tracks cleaned up and now i'm going to get them all dirty again just even just coming across there but yeah we'll get the mulcher on get the trailer loaded get the excavator loaded up can't wait to use these ramps i'm gonna have so much room here yeah i'm excited i'm excited to see how these brakes work everything else should be a nice looking setup going down the road when it's all said and done it wasn't for that big dent in the side of my excavator all right so we're getting ready to load up first time using the trailer and it's going to get absolutely destroyed in clay and rock so what happens is the clay sticks to the tracks you track on the rock it sticks to the rock sticks to the clay sticks to the tracks you come up you got rocks making grooves in your deck and everything else uh yeah great first time using it and we're gonna get her very dirty and uh probably a few dents into her but check this thing out So it always goes up first because when you close it, it uh, like has like a lock and you can tell the difference in sound when it's locked compared to when it's not. But check this out. It will pick the trailer right up. Beautiful. I don't need that in there anymore. So this is what you're left with. A nice, beautiful, long 12 foot incline so easy you're not throwing ramps down you don't gonna worry about if you're on even ground your ramps won't drop this will work every time so let's get it loaded up it's starting to rain again and uh get her chain down and get out of here and i'm sure i'll be absolutely soaked by the time that i get back on the road again all right we are chained down we got the mulcher we got two straps on it chain across the boom chain everywhere chain everywhere chain everywhere so this is where i have it sitting right now now i think that's going to be a pretty good spot I'll check this out. If I need to, I can go forward next time. I got lots of room to work. This is what I'm going with for now. So, all right. Yes, indeed, I am soaked. I am soaked and I'm sweating like crazy. So, let's check this thing out. So, like I said, if I need to, I have tons and tons and tons of room. For 18 kilometers, continue straight. talking to you guys I almost took that turn too short I have loads of room to uh, move the trailer ahead if I need to if I feel that it's a little loose back there it's swaying or whatever I've got 70 pounds in my bags and I have my trailer brake set to five so let's see oh yeah got some good brake there yeah works good I'm gonna crank it up for a second and just see what happens here I would normally use my sure track at like nine nine and a half oh man Woo! that is sweet oh buddy holy cow I definitely don't need it that high that is crazy Wow all right so i'm not going to be going up really to like super high speeds because it's going to be a lot of sort of uh like you know this type of, of driving but i'll get up to enough speed that i'll be able to tell how it feels 
if I need to move it forward going in the future or whatever. Uh, right now it feels pretty darn good. It would be nice to have it on the highway so I can get up to, you know, 65, 70 miles per hour and see how it feels. But I know that I got room to come forward. I, I'm, I know that I'm not over on my, uh, on my trailer. I'm not overweight on my truck. It's a, it's a good setup. It feels pretty smooth right now as far as, uh, you know, lugging and bouncing and stuff goes. But let's just see how this thing does on the ride here. But initial response, you know, going around turns and stuff, it feels good. Just like my sure track, my sure track also feels great. That, uh, having that dovetail, that hydraulic dove was awesome. Coming up that 12 foot ramp versus uh, a 10 foot ramp essentially with, with my sure track was a lot better. You got two more feet there to work with so your grade's not as not as steep. And uh, it's just so easy, I just press a button. I press a button and it works. But yeah, so we've got, you know, truck and trailer combined, I mean trailer and, uh, and load combined. We're getting close to 30 with the mulcher and everything on there. And this truck again, you know, this truck is phenomenal power wise. It's it's actually unbelievable that this truck is set up like this from stock. Uh, definitely need to play around with it a little bit. Whew, man, I'm sweating. It is so humid and wet and sticky and gross outside. This feels good. This feels really good. Uh, definitely looking forward to getting it on the highway and really testing it out, you know, placement. You know, I know where to place uh, stuff on my on my sure track, but you know, getting used to this one will be take a little bit of time. But with my sure track as well, the way I've been chaining these machines down now, it's really close to where the ramps are, and the chains fall down in the slots for the ramps because they're called self cleaning. With this one here, you don't got to worry about that. It took like no time at all to chain this down. I almost feel like this tra this trailer is a touch wider, but I I, I know that it isn't. But anyway, uh, as far as the, you know, the, the pre-engineered arch in the trailer, it is still arched. So <laughs> the load I have on it right now did not, did not straighten that out at all. But let's get to the site. I'll tell you guys what I really think about this trailer. Okay, well that was an absolute dream to tow with. Holy crap, does this thing have brakes? This is what every trailer should be. Unbelievable difference from this to my sure track. Holy, holy cow. Between the truck and trailer, what a freaking setup. I love it, I love it. So, let's see what we're doing. See my deck? See how murdered my deck is already? Ah, uh, it's gonna be even worse once I back out of here. But, here we go. We're going down here, clearing this lot out. The road's growing in like crazy. I even just need to mulch my way into here and then once we get down so far we're uh, basically clearing it all essentially but I'm gonna clean up on my way coming in here because I won't even bring trucks in here the way that this is right now there was a spot down here where we broke a limb off and from there down is where we were gonna clear it Right there, so there's our starting point. So from here down, we're clearing. So you got our work cut out for us. We're gonna leave some of the big stuff, but pretty much all the small stuff is gonna get grind up. Whatever we can't grind up, we're gonna chip. Coming down here to the lake. Won't get much done today. Probably only get like an hour or so onto it today. And then uh, tomorrow will be a good day. Tomorrow might be the machine and the saws and chipper just to really get things rolling in here and let get this lot leveled. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, nice spot. It's actually uh, it's actually a friend of mine who bought this lot and he's gonna be building a house in here. You can see people are bringing their boats and stuff in here. They think that it's a public spot because it's always been used by the public he's got no trespassing signs up and stuff but it doesn't seem to make a difference people are still people are still uh using it how they want to unfortunately for him but anyway drop the gear off get like an hour or so work here today something like that i gotta look at a couple more jobs while i'm in this way 
people are calling me non-stop right now and I don't live in this way anymore so it's it's a drive for me just to go look at work you don't want to spend too much driving around you want to spend time working but yeah that was an absolute dream to haul with I can see what Sam and uh, all those guys uh, what's that freak you see what all those guys are talking about with these brakes man those are what brakes should be every single trailer should have brakes like that wow holy crap guys it is raining i am soaked i just took the machine in put the mulcher down the job site the machine is so fogged up you can't even see what you're doing so i'm not even gonna bother today it's almost two o'clock now anyway i got a bunch of errands that i need to stop and do for uh, renovation and i gotta check and see how john's making out on the on another lot job he ran into some cliffs so gotta figure out what we're doing there uh just took some air of the bags lowered the the brake the brake controller here down to uh down to two and we're off we're ready to set off i think there's a spot down here i can get turned around hopefully it says there kind of is so hopefully i can get this 35 foot beast probably more like close to 42 43 with the with the gooseneck but see if we can get turned around we're probably uh about an hour and a half to an hour and 40 minutes from home as it is so yeah we gotta get trucking that's the only bad thing about doing jobs like this i would like to get up really early in the morning which i might do tomorrow and and head down here typically i drop my young fellow off in the morning and i, I can't drop him off till eight so that makes things a bit tough and it's a 30 35 40 minute drive just to get there uh but Maybe tomorrow morning, my wife can drop them off and I'll uh, I'll do my thing. Yeah, I think we can get turned around here. So yeah, trailer's great. Couldn't be happy with it right now, to be honest. Now that the brakes are working, everything's great. And yeah, just the first trip of many for this thing. All right guys, here's something weird that I didn't notice on the way home with the trailer, but it's doing it now. We're getting around this speed. There's actually two speeds it does it. The truck does a lot of shaking. I don't know what's going on. I don't think I noticed this at all coming home the first day I picked this truck up. I picked this trailer up. And if I'm going faster, uh, so you know, like that's not good. I don't like that. Um, I know my front tires on this truck are wearing extremely funny but geez uh, I don't notice it when I'm just driving the truck when the trucks empty no trailer it definitely doesn't drive like this and uh, the other day when I picked up the 8 ton with the sure track and delivered it to that job I don't think it was doing it then and that trailer either i don't know what's going on it's 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 weird it's right at two certain speeds one slow speed and then you know right at about 103 104 kilometers an hour start shaking but once i get up to a higher speed it doesn't do it i don't know i'll have to keep an eye on that and see uh and you can see it it's not that bad right now when I did the uh with my voice, that's when it's the worst. But I uh, don't really like that. And you can see it in the steering wheel too. It's Once it gets above that speed though, it's good. I'll have to check all my tire pressures and stuff, I guess. That'll be the first thing to check. But there it goes, look. All right guys, so here we are. Days over back here at the homestead, the new property, whatever you want to call it. So you can see, we're not completely finished yet. The last set, the last side for siding is the front side because the deck's going there. We might do something different on the front, but the rest of the house, the siding's done. Uh, the interior's pretty much done except for the kitchen. Uh, right now, the front lawn is a parking spot just for tonight because we just moved some stuff into the house. 
but we've uh yeah but we've done a lot of work here that's for sure a lot more work yet to do beautiful night beautiful 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 night taking the dogs out for a little walk a little run around bowers in getting his bath hey buddy it's been a while since you've been on camera hey bud dogs absolutely love it here you can barely see the lake through the trees now this time of year the trees take over we definitely got to get that thinned out down there for sure but there's a lot more more important projects here to do at the property right now hey guys so uh first time using the trailer uh yeah awesome definitely awesome it, it definitely is longer i can tell you. you you can notice that extra five feet compared to the sure track it's uh it is noticeably longer and um but it's very easy to maneuver the visibility actually is a bit better because the goose is is like tighter it's not as spread out but the brakes holy those brakes that's how every trailer should be every trailer should have those brakes on them if you're towing more than 15 you know thousand pounds behind a truck lose my phone here you should have hydraulic disc brakes those things are incredible uh, they're gonna gear me up with the new brake controller. I didn't show you guys that, but it is busted and it doesn't seem to be working. So they're gonna gear me up with a new uh, wireless, uh, not brake controller, a new wireless um, controller for the ramps and uh, for the drop lag. But anyway, um, stay tuned. This thing's gonna be towing heavy basically every day. I'll definitely make a video when I tow my 95 because that is 2,000 pounds or maybe a little more heavier than what my 080 is so definitely a bit of a more of a task for it but the the sure track handles that one well so uh, i know the diamond c's certainly will but that's it for now guys um diamond c's helped me out flaming flaming they're helping me out uh we're, we pretty much got the kinks worked out except for the stuff to do with the truck anyway you get new stuff and you think that you're gonna have no issues but most of the time, to be honest, that's when you have issues. Wendell! If you buy used stuff, usually the guy before you had the kinks worked out. If you buy new stuff, you pretty much got to do that on your own. It's just the way it goes, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. <clears throat> you know what to do. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and we will see you then. Bye.